Common Sense of a Duke's Daughter, Chapter 229 The Fall A few days have passed since Dida left the mansion. He should have reached the east. Not. While processing documents, I muttered. It would be nice if my warning bell is only an unfounded fear. While I thought about such a thing, a knocking sound was coming from the door and Tanya came in. I am sorry, milady, I have something to report. Oh, did you receive a report from Dida? At my words, Tanya shook her head with a stiff face. No, but it is a big deal. I couldn't imagine what big deal she would be talking about. What big deal could we have at this time? The defense front in Count Monroe territory collapsed. The enemies have entered. No, the barrier may have already been broken down from before the war started. To Tanya's words, I paled up for a moment. I needed a little time to understand her words because of the confusion. By understanding, I breathe out and calm my feelings. Are you sure? It is a report from one of our intelligence agents who had been sneaking into the Count Monroe residence, considering the time until the report has arrived here, the enemies have already entered and must be heading towards here. Please tell me in detail, what kind of circumstances produced that outcome? How is Grandfather's army? The second team has arrived to support them. For now, the master. No. The death's notice of General Gazelle has not come, but rather the troops of General Gazelle have double the fighting power with a smaller number than that of the enemies and the private soldiers. As a result, the second team was sent to support County Monroe's territory border that was being pressed. So, how many soldiers did the enemy send to the border with Count Monroe? Well, the majority of their private soldiers. And also, a lot of regular soldiers. It is true that many of those that are attacking the Count border, are prepared soldiers. Maybe they predicted that grandfathers would be their opponent at the front. So they thought a strategy to break from the laterals. If they predicted that grandfather would be where the war opened, then they threw a lot of militia to the borders and distributed the main force to entertain my grandfather so he could not move. As I organize my thoughts, I decide what course to follow from now on. So, they began attacking the territory of Count Monroe while Grandfather was fighting at the front, and they even sent all regular soldiers to break the border. But wait for a moment. I still can't understand how could they break the border. What about the quantity of enemies respect the second team and Count Monroe soldiers? The second team are elite soldiers and should not be some small numbers right. Why was the border so easily broken? The people from Count Monroe territory joined the enemy. What? I screamed at that statement. I couldn't control my emotions. Don. And the sound of a hit on the desk sounded. However, as I watched her calm down, I gradually calmed down my emotions. Even though I mistakenly showed such an emotional appearance, she didn't show any emotion. Is the tyranny of Count Monroe the cause? As I ask, Tanya shook her head. For those who previously lived in the territory of the present Count Monroe, the battle this time is not an invasion but a liberation. They suffered inhumane treatment until the first prince ascended the throne, so... While they were suffering, Twill's country offered the people a liberation. And organized them for when they war starts. Divan and his people. Yes. Miss. You said it before. Me. The flow of the world is the same as a river. Even if you try to go in a different direction, you cannot go against the big flow. Even if some people opposed... The thoughts of I can't win would prevail and they would change direction to match the main flow, saying that it's the only way, and that thought will be repainted on many others. Quote ellipsis. Perhaps Count Monroe couldn't calm the people after the big famine and has sown seeds of anxiety and discontent. And even thought the first prince ascended the throne and ended the famine, but... 
The memory of that suffering could not be erased quickly. Well, indeed. Perhaps, behind the movement in Count Monroe territory, there was already someone carrying out arrangements to fuel the population to rebel already. Even so, is the army withdrawing from the territory of Count Monroe, the defense team is retreating. Wait a moment. If it's like this, our territory will be attacked from two directions. What about the reinforcements from other territories for the war? Do you think they will send any? Probably. I will only have myself to depend on to protect my territory. For the neighboring territory of Count Monroe, I do not know when the enemy will come to attack here. Although, with this, I will not receive a request to send soldiers to reinforce another territory. More than anything, there is no possibilities to fight in the territory of Count Monroe, as the people are with the enemy. Milady, it is serious. Along with the knocking sound, such words were issued with a screaming voice coming from the other side of the door.